Good afternoon. So I just wanted to do a really quick video here and talk about my vacuum cleaner for a little bit or a few minutes. I guess nobody's ever covered the basis of what kind of vacuum cleaner that carpet layers use. I know a lot of people use the uh, commercial commercial grade uh, vacuum cleaners that have the metal base and the zip up bag on the back like you see in a lot of hotels and stuff. How's it going, Jared? Um, those are probably great vacuums and last a long time. Um, however, I don't use them. I, I never have used them. How's it going, Freddie? And um, I want to point out a few things about my vacuum cleaner, why I like this type of vacuum cleaner, and why I do not use those um, uh, commercial grade vacs like you see in hotels and stuff that have the metal base and stuff with the bag the zipper bag on the back and stuff like that I always use a canister vacuum cleaner. Let me show you my vacuum cleaner real real quick. I'm gonna turn this around So this is my vacuum cleaner right here. It's a It's a Hoover vacuum cleaner and I get this not necessarily this particular brand which I did I just went and got another one over there because this one is about to uh it's about to go out on me. It's making a real loud noise now. So, um, but I like these type of vacuum cleaners because, uh, well, let's see here. I can't get this cord off here. And this is one reason I don't like this vacuum cleaner is it's got that extra little cord wind up thing on it. And I always try to stay away from those because uh, that's what happens. They get to where they don't wind up back in there. And that's exactly what's happened to this one. But. However, I always do get the canister vacuum cleaners. Really easy to take this off, open the bottom up right there and just dump your stuff out. And the filter is real easy to deal with. You just screw this top off. Let me set this, uh, set this thing up here for just a second. Okay. So this thing just easily twist off. And right here's your filter. You can just take and uh, dust it out anytime you start losing suction and it'll uh, start, it'll gain its suction right back. So that's really good about that. And the main reason that I do not use those other vacuum cleaners, the, the commercial type ones, is because they have no wand. Okay, this is the main tool on a vacuum cleaner that I use naturally i use the whole thing but i use this right here so much the wand on this vacuum cleaner not just this one but any of them that i get and i particularly like this vacuum cleaner because it has such a long hose i mean look at there i'm about uh that's probably seven eight feet stretched out right there and it's not even pulling the vacuum cleaner yet there it goes so that's probably about eight or nine feet right there stretched out and um I use my wand all the time. Looky here. Let me let me do this again. Sorry about that. I sh sh should be more organized than this. But anyway, I use this wand all the time, and it just pulls out like so. And then I stick this on the end. And in addition to the nine foot or whatever of the hose right there, I got this, which is probably about three and a half or four feet here to the added on to that extra nine feet. And if you can look right there at the tip of this, you can definitely tell that I use this thing all the time. It's got a chiseled edge on it. So it gets in the, in the corners real good and you can hold it down. Uh, let's see down close like that. And it really makes some suction really strong when you get it to where it's almost cut off like that. And, uh, I use that a lot. I mean, I use that definitely more than I do my average, uh, than I do my vacuum cleaner in a, in a hole because I will take that vacuum right there or my, my, uh, my wand to the vacuum and I will go around the walls. Anytime I do any kind of glue down job, whether it be vinyl, carpet towels, carpet, or anything like that, if I do a glue down job, I always go around the edges um, of my baseboard and I go around after I cut my jams and suck out from underneath the jams and all of that really good because there's nothing worse to, than uh, 
tucking something underneath of a door jam and then pulling it back out to trim it or something and you got a lot of garbage come out and get in your glue and stuff like that so that wand is really helpful so anyway that's just a common hoover there that i get at home depot and i pay the extra uh 18 for the extended warranty and these are like 168 bucks for these vacuums and uh new van no it's not a new van that's just a, a rental because mine is in the body shop getting getting worked on where i got all wrecked up there happy easter to you i hope all you guys had a good happy easter and was able to spend some quality time with your family how's it going anthony happy easter buddy god bless you um anyway um i forgot where i was at yeah i use i like Hmm, I forgot what I was gonna say. I got distracted by the comments there. Anyway, let's just go uh, uh, Straight to the giveaway right here. So everybody knows that I use these little bags right here Let me see here So commercial uh, I ain't sure what you mean there Jared I got these little nail bags right here I keep my concrete nails in and I got four different kind, four different colors. I got a blue one. I think I got four. I might just have three. I got a blue one there too. That's where you left it off. Oh, oh, I hear you. Um, dang, I can't remember. Sorry, I can't remember. <laughs> anyway, I got four of those bags that are brand new, and. Um, I went today and picked up some lumber. I'm fixing to start my my build in here. That's why I got this somewhat cleared out. My build is gonna be a 13 by 24 with a four foot porch on it in, that I'm gonna make inside of here. And I went, I'm gonna give you guys some kind of an idea. I got 34 of these, uh, 12 of these and a box of screws, a box of screws, a nail gun, and a big box of nails. Plus you can see the power lumber and the underlayment. Whoever gets closest to the cost of that, I will give you guys those bags. Whoever gets closest to the cost of that. You can hit me up on Facebook Messenger whenever I say who won and um, with your address and I will send them to you, okay? But we are getting ready to start putting that thing together there so i wanted to uh i ordered some stuff the other day i'm actually going to do a few giveaways i don't know maybe one every couple weeks or one one a one a month or something like that to show appreciation for you guys because you guys do a lot if it wasn't for you guys this channel wouldn't even be nothing so i appreciate you guys okay and um i hope i can start doing some really good videos when I get this thing put together here. Um, start taking some really good requests and stuff and start doing some videos that you guys are asking for. Thank you, Cody. It's just a rental, I wrecked mine. I don't know if you've seen the video or not where I wrecked my van and my insurance paid for this thing. I don't much, is that your warehouse? Yeah, I'm here at the house. I don't much care for this. It's it's cool, I guess, but it's got that cage in the back of it there, so it won't even hold, hold a, <laughs> it won't even hold a 12 foot roll because that cage stops at about 10 foot. But I do like the fact that I can, I can stand up and walk in it, so that's pretty cool because that's definitely a not lot nicer than being all hunched over in my regular van. But it's been real hectic, um, been real hectic and real chaotic. <laughs> uh working out of this with everything just on the floor i keep having to just to go get that lumber and stuff what is the best flooring to use in a high traffic area apartment flooring sunroom that seems a lot of snow and salt mud uh if it's an apartment and you're not really worried about the look of it vct yeah there you go vinyl would do good too or vct tile so <clears throat> thank you for helping out there uh, I don't even know how to pronounce that. I kind of get the idea of what you're getting at, but I don't know how to pronounce your name there, whoever said vinyl. So anyway, 
VCT versus vinyl plank. Uh, VCT is definitely going to be the most durable unless you get some really, really, really <laughs> high quality. Yeah, the laughing faces. Really high quality uh, LVT, and then you don't want to put that in an apartment. So uh, you can do some really cool stuff with VCT. You can cut it and make patterns and, and designs and stuff like that. Yes, VCT is glue down, and it's the stuff that you see in Walmart and stuff like that, the high traffic areas. Around the clothing sections, you'll see the LVP, but in, throughout the stores in malls and stuff like that, you're gonna see VCT. That's the main, uh, main thing. Hospitals have VCT down, so it's really durable. All right, cool. What underlayment do you use for VCT? I use the... <sighs> There you go. Do you see what Jared said there? Make sure, sure you strip and wax it because that is definitely the life of VCT is taking care of it properly. But if you do, it will last for years and years and years and years. And you can buy wax and just, uh, I've only done it a handful of times myself. There's usually people come in after me whenever I do that, but take and uh, just buy yourself a bottle of liquid wax and wipe it on with a sponge and that puts a really good coat on it yourself. So anyway, uh, I don't know who, uh, if you guys seen that or not, I'm doing a giveaway and yep. Is that what you do, Jared? Just pour it out and wipe it on with a sponge. I've actually done them. Uh, I was doing a whole lot of circle K's there in Tucson and just going through each circle K store and repairing or replacing, uh, four or five towels per store where they would, move something or something like that. And um, I would just wax them at the store, wax me a nice little stack at the store and, and then go around and hit a few of the stores up with some pre-waxed tiles. That's what I've done like that. So maybe that'll help or else you can just do it while it's down too as well. So anyway, hope you guys had a happy Easter. And again, I'm doing a giveaway, 177, oh, 17, 77 okay uh when i get some more feedback on that uh, i'll look into that uh what we're doing is guesstimating the price of this pile of lumber and screws and nail gun those cinder blocks or not cinder blocks but whatever they are there little two inch blocks i bought them with it too as well to set this thing up off the floor a little bit so whoever guesses the closest i am going to send you guys or not you guys, but whoever gets closest, I'm going to send you uh, four nail bags for your uh, concrete nails, tack strip nails and stuff like that. Uh, $359. Get out of here. <laughs> these, ba these bags. <laughs> these bags right here, the old nails. These are awesome. I've used them for a long time. I've only had to buy two different... Uh, buy them twice they last a really long time they're made out of the, like that carhartt material so they're real good and durable you can see or they just get thrown around and stuff like that in my bucket but they last forever <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, they last forever all right cody um i pointed this out a while ago so you wasn't present i don't think because you commented afterwards I got this box of screws, that box of screws, this nail gun, and uh, 34 of these, <laughs> 30, uh, 20, uh, dang, I can't remember now, 12, 12, 12 of them, and that box of nails right there for my gun, and you can see the stack, and this is pretty cool. I haven't bought these before, so these are actually pre-marked off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, these are, uh, the price is right. I was thinking that's what he was doing there when he went a dollar. He didn't want to go over. Uh, <laughs> 16 inches, these things are marked off, which is real cool for my uh, floor. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna get off here. I just wanted to do that and talk about the vacuum cleaner for a minute. What kind of, what kind of, kind of vacuum cleaner do you guys use? Leave that in the comments and people can get an idea of what kind of vacuum cleaners installers use. Um, I was using Bissell's for a long time. Oh yeah, I know what I was gonna say uh, a while ago. Jared, um, I pay $18 and 
extra for an extra two year rep bleh, replacement plan on these. It's $18 when you buy them. When you buy these, um, when you buy them, they're not going to last, okay? They're, everybody knows that does flooring. Uh, we use vacuum cleaners like crazy. Uh, these are not used once a week like they're like you like a regular housewife would or something like that in their own home. Vacuuming once a week or something like that. These things get used daily. They get thrown around on the van and everything like that. So you're not going to get two years out of these. I got I, I've come close to this one here, year and a half, something like that. Sometimes um, uh, the most common thing to wear out on them is the rewind, the cord rewind right there where the cord goes in there and the wheels because they are on a plastic little thing here underneath i think all these little household vacuums are like that you can see the wheel so they get to where they just don't roll very good and these are real easy to work on too you see all the strings in there i just cut that stuff off when it gets to where you can hear a racket or something like that i'll take my knife and just cut that off sometimes you even have to take these little screws out right there there's six of them and just clean it out real good. But I've never had the belt break on any of these. Uh, the Eureka vacuum cleaner have like an eighth inch belt, which breaks off real easy. Uh, these, these and the Bissell have like a half inch belt. I've never had any issues out of the half inch, out of my Hoover or the Bissells that I was using. And you can buy the $18 rep bleh, replacement plan for these. And you don't, like I said, you're not gonna get two years out of this. So. You can take it back whenever it breaks and just replace it right there at the store. So once you buy one, once you buy one, you pretty much got all of your, uh, man, I missed that, I'm sorry. Once you got uh, one, once you buy one vacuum cleaner, you got $18 invested in it after the initial buy. And then after it tears up, you go get you another one, buy the two year replacement plan and you're only buying spending $18 per vacuum after the first one because they're not gonna last two years. So that $18 replacement plan is definitely worth the money, okay? Because like I said, they're not gonna last two years. What was that one comment there? Somebody said something. Um, you almost have to... Go bagless with all the lint we pick up on. Oh that. yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that's why I don't use the, um, the commercial ones with the zipper bag on the back. I don't like a bagless. I always use a, a canister vacuum cleaner. I hope the weather was good for you guys today. It was a beautiful day here and I'm gonna get off here. Um, I'm gonna let this sit maybe two days and see what kind of feedback I get on the prices and stuff. I will say there was a couple of them that was really close right there. So it's gonna have to be really close. The I only carry a Dewalt shop vac with me. Self-cleaning filters, absolutely happy Easter and God bless, thank you, Jared. Uh, I understand about that, but a shop vac, I just, I myself couldn't imagine doing a whole house. Thank you, uh, Anthony, you too. I couldn't imagine vacuuming a house of carpet with a shop vac. That would just be so rough. So, however, I'm sure they would last a long time because of my seamer down now. Um, lasts a long time, like six years, and it's got a shop vac top on it. Uh, thank you. It's a rental because mine is all smashed up in the in the when it went it ain't all smashed up. It had a little accident there. You probably seen that. Actually, you did because I did a live stream on it and I remember when you you commented on it. So that's the one my insurance people got me, and it's completely paid for. It's it's a Ford Transit. It's only ten foot to that cage right there, so I can't get all my carpet all the way in, and it's a wreck not having shelves and stuff. So I'd be glad to get mine back. But anyway, this is almost brand new. It's almost a brand new van, so it is kind of nice doing that. It's only had like 9,000 miles on it whenever they give it to me, but it's completely covered by the insurance, so that was awesome. Anyway, I'll give this about two days. What is today? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday, uh, I'll, I'll announce uh, the winner and let you guys, let you guys, uh, whoever the winner is, message me your address on Facebook, and I'll be, I want to send you those bags, okay? What was the question? how much that pile of lumber cost right there or that stack of stuff whoever gets closest mm. that stuff i ordered the other day i'm going to send some of that to whoever gets the closest so i got like i said i got three different things ordered the bags and then two more things for giveaways for 
just to show appreciation to you guys because you guys are awesome. Appreciate y'all. FBSB's out.